4.2. Know that the gradient of a function is the gradient of the tangent at that point. Okay, so um, this, uh, this, this section is trying to connect the idea of the gradient um, of a curve is the same at any point as the, tan the gradient of the tangent at that point. So if we've got a point on a curve, the tangent is the line that just touches that point in one point only. And if we can draw that perfectly, then that gradient of that line will be exactly the same as the uh, value of the gradient function at that point. So if we differentiate this curve, whatever this equation is that gives you this curve, if we differentiate it and calculate the value when x equals 6, because x equals 6 at this point, then that should be the same as the gradient of the tangent at that point. And that's, that's what we're going to be looking at through this section 4.2. Okay, so I've got three questions here um, to work through. Ideally, you should pause the video and have a go at these on your own. Um, don't forget that the index button will take you back to the index for calculus. And any questions that are on this topic that I've done for exam, from exam papers, I will put links to down here. Okay, let's have a go at question one. The diagram shows the point P on a curve, Y equals F of X. So we're not told the function, we're just told it's a curve. And we've got to draw a suitable line to estimate the gradient of the curve at P. So this is this is um, checking that you know that to get an estimate of a gradient of the curve of the curve P at a point, we need to draw a tangent. So we need to draw a line at that point. So we need to estimate where it's going to be and draw a line to so it touches that point. And then we've got to estimate that value of the tangent of that of that line. So to work out the tangent of a, uh, the gradient of a tangent, a gradient of a line, sorry, you need to work out how far across, how far for one across you go up or down. So this one's going down to there. That's one across on the scale. Because start at six, I'm going down, I'm going across to where it's seven. So I'm going to this point here. So I'm going across and down. So definitely the gradient's negative. So if we're going one across on the scale, I'm going down, so that's uh, 0.2, that's one, that's another 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, that's about 0.7, plus 0.2, so 0.9, and one, so it's gonna be, so the gradient is approximately equal to minus 1.9 on the line I've drawn. Now it does depend on the line you draw. Draw. Try to get it so it balances. You've got about the same amount of line on either side. Maybe this could be a little bit steeper or, or I'm not sure, but it's a basic, it doesn't have to be particularly accurate. In fact, the first time I did this, I got minus 1.6. So um, it's a little bit different there. So that's just checking you know that the, uh, the gradient at the curve at any point is the gradient of a line just touching that curve at that one point. So the tangent, that's what tangents are, the lines that just touch at that point. Okay, question two. Q is the point one, three, and O is the origin. Show that Q lies on the curve y equals two x squared minus x plus two. Okay, to show that a point lies on the curve, all you need to do is to put the values, this is x, this is y, if these fit in here so that the y value is equal to this with the x value, then that's, that shows it. So y, what, what I do here is I just, I just start with y equals 2, and then I put the value for x. So when x equals 1, uh, we're going to get 2 lots of 1 squared minus 1 plus 2. And that's going to give us 2 minus 1 plus 2, which equals 3. So when x equals 1, y equals 3, therefore 1, 3 is on the curve. Okay, so that shows it. So you've put the x value in. If you get the y value in, then it works, so therefore it must be on the curve. So that's part A. Uh, part B, show that the line through 0 and q is, is a tangent to the curve y equals 2, 2x two squared minus x plus 2. To do that, um, all we really need to do is to show they have the same gradient. So um, the tangent to the curve will have the same gradient if it is the same line. So um, gradient of line 
through, the writing's terrible, through 0, 0, and 1, 3. Well, that's going to be equal to, that's going to be equal to, I'm going to put the implies symbol. So that's going to be equal to that. Do you know? So that implies, let's just stick with that. That implies that the gradient is equal to, well, for every one across, I'm going to cross one, I'm going up three. So three divided by one, which is three. So the gradient of the line is three. Um, the dy by dx will give us the gradient function or the gradient of the tangent. So dy by dx is going to be four x because we take the two down, times by the two make four, take one off the power, and then this x becomes minus one. Um, dy by dx is that. So that tells us that dy by dx uh, when x equals 1, x equals 1. So we divide by the x is going to be 4 lots of 1 minus 1, which is 3. Therefore, same gradient. Therefore, same line. Um, two lines with the same gradient that go through the same point are the same line. So there we go. That's question 2. So all we have to do, though, is show they have the same gradient. Question three. Question three. The tangent at the point R on the curve y equals five x squared plus six x plus one is parallel to the line y equals seven minus four x. Work out the coordinates of R. Okay, so if the tangent at the point R on the curve is parallel to this line, that implies they have the same gradient. So um, this tells us that gradient at r equals minus 4. That's the gradient of the line. Um, so dy by dx is going to be equal to minus 4, but it's also equal to 2 lots of 5, which is 10x, plus 6, because that's the differential of that function there. So we're trying to find a solution to this. So we've got this bit we're trying to find a solution to. So we're going to take away the 6 to get minus 10 equals 10x. I'm going to divide by the 10 to get x equals minus 10 over 10, which is minus 1. So the coordinate of x is minus 1. So the so y coordinate is going to be 5 lots of minus 1 squared plus 6 lots of minus 1 plus 1. And 5 lots of minus 1 squared, well that's just 1, so that's 5. Uh, take away 6 plus 1, which is 0. So y equals 0. So the coordinates are minus 4, no, it's not minus 4. So the x value, which is minus 1. So we've got minus 1, 0. Okay, so r must be the point that has the same gradient because it's parallel to this line, so it has the same gradient as this line, so the gradient is minus 4. We find the gradient function of this curve, we make it equal to minus 4, find the value of x that does that, which is minus 1, use that value of x back in the curve to get the value at the y coordinate of the same point. And that's minus 1, 0.